hey, I'm just uh, speaking food for thought. No introduction, but I do appreciate you. Uh, if you're listening right now to the channel, peace if you can find it. And I want to share how they got us so wrapped up with this toy in our hand, this mobile and our laptops and this social media with all the uh, balls, the circus act that they put, the clowns that they have pulled out of their hats in the circus to distract us. I mean, it's just one event after another. Have you noticed? Just look at your feed if you are on YT and you have not deleted your history. Just look at all the shit that they have subjected us to. That nothing has been resolved. None of those issues, not even Flint. But they just moved us along. Like you move shit in somebody's bow. That's how they moving us along. I mean, we don't, they don't need to talk to us no more about the oil that's being spilled in, in the ocean. And I had to come to mind again about Japan is still releasing that toxic water into, they say, their waters. But there is no your waters because it all ripples out to everybody. You know, it's so much happening that we just can't function. But yet we laughing and joking, even myself. I think about it, but goddamn, you got to have a break. But we are in a cesspool. We in a sewer. They don't give us a chance to think about nothing. About the trains, about the water, the air, nothing. I mean, it's just constant shit they throwing at us. Constantly. Via the entertainment. Uh, like uh, Neely Fuller said, the nine activity areas and it's economics, education, uh, entertainment, uh, labor, law, sex, religion, war. They keep us preoccupied through all of those areas. And I have missed some. But I mean, my gosh, they feed us junk consistently through our minds, via social media, and the TV, through the food, the air, the water. We can't even come up breathing. Surely. And, and you know what? I'm going to end with this. It is so many people passing away, not passing away, that are being annihilated because of cancer. And we have just accepted it and not even even kicking up our heels because it's not going to do any good because what's happening in front of our faces is not doing any good. But how do you begin to ask where is it coming from? We just have accepted it. Oh, she got cancer. Oh, he got cancer. Oh, yes, she died from cancer. Oh, they died from cancer. Oh, yeah, they had cancer. And it's like it's a normal conversation. It's horrible. And it's coming out of my shower. Unless I go get a, a, a softener. And I'm not. I don't have no money for that. I can do it, but I ain't shit. Because it ain't just the softener. It's the food. It's everything. It's in the air, pots and furniture, clothes. It's in the air. It's in everything. But nobody is asking about that to any politicians. On the ballot. They don't even talk about that. But it's Billy. Don't go out the gate. That's who the one that's doing it. But you can't talk to him. Huh? I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in. Just some thoughts. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, this is YT's policy that you hit the like button to let them know that you like it. You know what? They have the analytics, analytical part of uh, your channel. It's, it's so complicated. I, I, it scares me. But it lets you know the geographical uh, population that look at your video. What days, what time, all of that. So they know a whole lot. I don't know. I just put them out there. You know, I just put them out there. It's just whatever. So.
it's up to you to hit the like button. But I, like I said, this is my philosophy, and it makes more sense that if you look at it halfway, or if you go all the way, that's a like. They need to figure that out. Thanks for tuning in.